Starlight. You should look away. Sorry? You should turn away from the camera and you should close your eyes or else I'll blind you. Sorry, are you alright? Hello and welcome to another special episode of Superhero Club, your go-to show for all things comic book inspired on Amazon Prime Video. I'm your host Stephanie Williams. Before we get too far in, if you want more superhero content like this, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. And today we are highlighting the boy's character Starlight, the woman who can power a small city or cause the rolling blackout. First we'll dive into her comic history and then we'll get into the Starlight we've gotten to know in the last three seasons of the Amazon Prime Video TV series adaption of The Boys. Okay, so we're gonna kick things off with Starlight's comic history, which she's been in the comics almost through the entirety of uh, the boys run. But once I get into this, you'll see that she is there, but that's about it. All right, so Starlight's origin story in the comics is rather depressing, but then again, there are no characters in the boys comic series without a depressing um, origin story. Annie January made her debut in issue three of the comic series. She was born with the ability to fly and to emit blinding light from her hands. In fact, she accidentally blinded both her parents and the doctor when she came into the world. Later, Annie's parents gave up custody of her due to increased cost of living because of their disability. So Annie went to foster parents who only found value in her when she performed well in superhero pageants sound familiar? Annie was raised with only one goal in mind and that was to become a popular superhero so when Lamplighter of the Seven dies she left her previous superhero group Young Americans to try out. Also does that sound familiar? We'll get into that later on when we discuss her time on the show. Immediately after she becomes a member of the Seven, Annie is cornered by Homelander, Black Noir, and A-Train and horrifically she's told to perform oral sex on them. Homelander essentially tells her that's the price of admission to join the team. It's all downhill from there for Starlight as the rest of her time with the Seven is nothing more than one degrading moment after another, including wearing a suit that could have doubled as dental floss. Starlight isn't with the Seven long before she enters into a relationship with Huey, a member of the boys team led by Billy Butcher who wants to take the Seven down. However, neither of them are aware of what the other does for a living. So they carry on with their relationship for a time without incident until one day Starlight confesses to being a superhero. Huey is furious with her, but then things are taken up a notch when Butcher shows him footage of the sexual act she performed on her teammates. Huey breaks up with Starlight without getting the full context for what was actually happening, nor does he bother to listen to her when she tries to explain. The two eventually get around to rekindling their relationship by the end of the comic series but yeah Huey is a he's not the best um in the show at least there are some qualities about him that are, are a little redeemable but in the comic not so much so yeah that's Starlight's comic history she's in the bed with Huey for most of the time in the comic series so her role in the Amazon Prime series uh tv series adaption is where things are actually far better for the character but that seems to be the running thing for all of the boys characters once we get to the tv adaption Let's move on to the Starlight we've gotten to know in the past three seasons of the Amazon Prime video TV series adaption. Starlight is also known as Annie Jane Ray in the TV series adaption. She is raised by a woman named Donna Jane Ray who gave her daughter Compound B so that she could develop powers. Like her upbringing in the comics, Annie participates in superhero pageants to encourage her to become one when she gets older. In the series, she also ends up joining the superhero group The Young Americans. And I forgot to mention in the comics, uh, she dates one of her teammates is the same person drummer boy in the comics drummer boy um, also on the show but he ends up going by a different name later on when we meet him again but the two of them lose their virginity to one another in the comics as well they're in a relationship they're deeply in love but drummer boy ends up cheating on her with another teammate so they break things off there that's not what happens in the show but and he does get him killed later on in season three so mm, maybe it's even now I have no idea that sounds terrible. Things just don't go well for Annie at all. A lamplighter's life is spared in the show as the hero retires instead of being killed. Annie receives an invitation to interview for the replacement spot. Shortly after she is selected to join the seven, she meets the Deep, who she confesses she had, you know, she had a crush on him. Being the low life that he is though, Deep decides to take advantage of this. He blackmails Annie into pleasuring him to keep her spot on the seven. Unfortunately, as you can see, her character in the show is still unable to 
avoid dealing with workplace harassment, but at least Annie gets to move past the seven in a meaningful way by the time we get to season three. She also has an opportunity to stand up to the deep when the two are sent on a mission together to investigate some illegal activity happening on the docks, and this happens in season one, so she gets her look back immediately. As Starlight's time continues with the seven, she slowly begins questioning her morals and goals as she is asked to do things she doesn't agree with. Just like in the comics, she is asked to wear a suit that reveals way more skin than she wants to show. Not to mention it also looks downright uncomfortable. When Starlight starts a romantic relationship with Huey and learns of his involvement of the boys, her inner dilemma truly starts to ramp up. So Starlight's relationship with Huey sort of begins the same way as it does in the comics. They both meet one another after experiencing personal traumatic moments. And for a time, they continue to see each other while not sharing what they do for a living. Even after the truth comes out, however, there are some hard feelings, but ultimately they end up working past it. This is due in part to this version of Annie growing more and more disillusioned with the Seven and Vaught, and also the fact that this version of Huey isn't so much of a jerk as the one from the comics. The couple still go through their share of ups and downs, but ultimately they are able to work it out because again, this version of Huey also happens to have a character art where you do see some growth in him and he moves away from being as selfish and uh, does not follow in the, the same line of uh, reasoning and thought as Billy Butcher, even though he does begin being fully aligned with what Billy is selling. Starlight's continued disillusionment with the Seven and Vought leads to her helping the boys, albeit reluctantly at first, as she spends more time with members like Mother's Milk, Frenchie, and Kamiko, uh, she begins to evolve into the Annie we've never seen before in the comics. She begins challenging fellow Seven teammates like Queen Maeve and even Homelander. Uh, she has that really amazing moment in season three where Homelander doesn't know that she's bluffing, but we all do. And it's a really tense moment where she catches him and says and he says all those things and she happens to be on live and yeah your girl has really grown immensely in her character from season one to the by the time we get to season season three it's a it's a different Annie and if anything I'm happy for her. By the end of season three Starlight truly blossoms into her own kind of hero standing up for what she thinks is right not Vought not the seven not Huey or the boys but what Annie thinks that Annie should be doing. Okay and that concludes this deep dive character session of Superhero Club. Thank you so much for watching again I'm your host Stephanie Williams. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more episodes of Superhero Club. Remember you can check out all three of the boys seasons on Amazon Prime video.